to my channel today we're going to celebrate enjoy and be happy because sa wakas nag 3,000 subscribers na din tayo and I'm very thankful to everyone who really took their time para mag subscribe mag like ng mga videos mag leave ng comment thank you so much po from the bottom of my heart thank you so much sa pag-reach natin ng 3,000 subscribers, some subscribers were able to um, join sa page ko na Graceful Living page and um, nag, nag parang game ako doon na mag-ask kayo ng questions and I'm going to answer them. So, ang ginawa ko, iba-iba um, kasi yung mga kategory, iba-ibang aspect ng, ng life and um, you know, different group of questions sila. My personal, my about YouTube, and iba naman is about my childhood. So, all of you guys are winners, but I just answered the category na in connection sa YouTube. And first question, I'll just make it uh, as fast as I can. How Gracie became graceful living? Um, Actually, hindi naman siya parang I became talaga. Parang ako pa din yun. It's just a mixture of parang mas bago na ang mga goals. And I was just simple before as ano, plain housewife lang. Hatid sundo sa mga bata. Now I have more goals of being a part of a society na kailangan tumulong. Marami ang dapat tulungan. And so I started it when I had as I said it in my previous um, vlogs, I started it when I turned 40. Parang I feel so blessed na at 40, walang lockdown dito sa New Zealand. And we were able to celebrate it successfully with my friends. Pero indoor nga lang siya. Not very lavish. Simple lang siya na um, kainan. And so I feel blessed para gusto kong maging... Uh, uh, inspiration to everyone na kahit pa paano, kahit hindi naman tayo sikat, hindi naman tayo mayaman, we can help. Even a little, we can help. And next question is, who is Grace or Grace for Living? Ay, mahirap siya explain na, um, kasi maraming kategory ang life natin, di ba? So, in a personal aspect, I'm just a simple person, a simple mother, um, busy housewife. So, yun, I'm, I'm just an ordinary person like you. Pareho, pareho lang tayo lahat. I'm just trying to be um, more ambitious lang siguro sa pag um, when I look at my future, I'm really ambitious on on 
um, having more investment siguro kasi I don't want to be a burden to to my family na pag nagkasakit ako ay ako kung yung parang inaanon la ko um pino problema nila ako so I want to be a blessing not a burden and thank you so much Joshua Revilla and Irene Ding Ding for that question okay I have another question here as a vlogger what's the best part of being you so the best part of being me as a vlogger I don't see myself a vlogger but I just Consider myself simple pa rin. I'm a mom pa din. I'm, I'm a housewife. Like you, parang, parang kayo lang. I just treat myself uh, uh, like, like an ordinary person. So there's nothing really best part of being me. Kasi it's, it's fair eh. In every aspect of my life, I do everything that I can. So there's nothing best. Everything is better. <laughs> Parang I, I call every aspect of my life better. So spiritually, I really see to it na I pray every day. I say thank you Lord every day. And socially, I I always manage to make friends. With, most probably, I don't have best part of being me. Parang kasi I balance everything as much as I can. So yun, there's nothing really best. Parang for me, everything is neutral. What makes you most empowered? Uh, siya. So I googled the meaning of empowered para swak talaga yung answer ko sa empowered. So empowered daw meaning uh, parang saan ka most confident. Um, in many ways, I'm very confident about the the fact that I have, I'm not very clever but I have a good common sense. Um, I feel confident in, in um, managing my life na hindi magulo dun i feel like everything that i do it has to be um with it, it has to be with a good head a uh, proper decision and compared if i follow my heart also if i like it i love it i do it Thank you for that question, Hara and Angel the Angel Rose Bermudez. And the next question: What instances that encourage you to become a vlogger? Um, hindi marami ang instances. Um, this was a short instance lang. Last, as I said, last um, uh, June last year, over one year na this June, that I was feeling so like. I'm useless na nasa bahay lang it was winter and walang masyadong ginagawa and here comes mga tao gutong walang trabaho I see the news I feel really stressed na ang gusto mo sakto tumulong pero wala akong pera and then one of my friends um told me nung nag-usap kami pati ka lang mag vlogger mag vlogger sabi ko Matalino ito. Pero bakit niya nakita yung potential na pwede akong mag-vlog? Siguro, parang it's time na I'll try mag-vlog. Pero, um, I didn't really expect many things. I just said, if it will work, if parang susuporta na ako ng mga tao, siguro it might be a good reason na from God will say, kaya mo talaga yan, do it, and help others. That instance na nag-pandemic and I had my birthday and I felt blessed na dumating pa ako sa 40th and wala kaming problema sa COVID. And for me, it's a big blessing. That's why I said I wanted to um, devote my life. A little of helping, a little of my family's side and other people's side. Yan. Next question is, what made you think to vlog? Ito, it's connection lang siya sa what encourages you or instances that encourage you to vlog. What made you think to vlog? So, yun. Um, it was a, a decision na parang ang bilis. Ang bilis ng decision. I was just editing my video sa birthday ko. Parang gusto ko souvenir. I-save ko siya sa YouTube. And then, all of a sudden, I was thinking, uh, ba't hindi na lang ito ipamonetize ang channel ko para pagkakitaan naman yung mga video tapos maganda naman ang views dito sa New Zealand and memories para sa mga bata so I said okay I'll try then 
I had few weeks of planning na uh, ano paano ko siya gawin. And then yun, na pa TikTok contest, singing contest. I tried, uh, I really asked for help sa mga tao kasi hindi ko naman talaga kaya to kung wala kayo. And it's really um, overwhelming that all all of the contestants were trying to help and I won't really forget that. So I said, when, when I have the chance to meet you guys, I really want to give you a big hug. Salamat, salamat, salamat talaga. So thank you so much, Hope De Los Santos and Jaras Prince. Last but not the least, how did you manage your time as a wife and a mother? Work, vlogging, and business. But still you stay strong. Tips daw. Okay, so how I manage my time? It's a very important um, factor, yung time mo. Para mag-succeed ang isang tao, siguro, I really feel that you have to prioritize things. First things first. So, ano bang mas important? As a mother, like, in my situation as a mother, syempre, mas importante sa akin, family. So, in the morning, I have to see to it na yung mga anak ko nagigising ko sa tamang oras. I let them eat breakfast before going to school, take them to school na malinis, and ano, walang naiiwang bottle of water, foods nila, intact, kompleto yung mga anong gusto nila every day, diba? So, yun, I focus on my children first. After that, during my free time, uh, yun, doon na, doon na pumapasok ang work vlogging business. So, I take the the vlogging not really as a work, but it's more of um, pastime lang na gusto ko siya i-enjoy while shooting, going to other places, um, making friends, and learning also how to be confident in front of the camera it's really a lot of learning process how to talk how to you know like how to um you have to think about more ideas ano ba talaga ang um, interesting for the viewers yun i have time for exercise especially sa noon time kasi doon na natapos yung mga errands ko like i finish vacuum maglaba maglinis maluto i have um, free time between 12 to 1 or 1 to 2 and so yun thank you so much for that question same questions lang sila Leonor si Alia Leonor Orozco Alia Jerry Cruz Maria Laura Vidingding and Angela Marie you have same questions but I still consider it uh, you know a winner a win thank you for asking these questions and I hope uh, you are satisfied sa mga sagot ko. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the 3,000 subscribers. Sana wala na mga Sana tuloy-tuloy na po ito. And I have so much plans pag uwi namin sa Pinas para makapag-bonding tayo and I have more contests. Yun, makapagpasalamat sa inyo. Thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And 3,000 subscribers, please hang on and help me more maka reach pa tayo ng 4000 subscribers thank you guys for watching and i hope you will enjoy more videos next time and congrats to everyone Yay. thank you for watching